Matthew eleven seven, Tuton de parua minon, Irxata ha Jesus legain tois achois peri Joanu. T ex ilthate eistein eriman theasasthai. Kalaman hupa anemu saluamenon. Remember that John the Baptist's disciples have are now returning to John to report what Jesus has said to them and the things they've seen and heard. And we read now as they were going, that is as John's disciples were going back to him. This is a genitive absolute construction. I'll remind you, a genitive absolute construction where we have a genitive participle and we have a genitive noun or pronoun, in this case the demonstrative pronoun, the genitive uh, noun or pronoun acts as the subject, the genitive participle acts as the verb, and this is usually temporal, right? The usually temporal translation, as they were leaving, as they were going, and we'll just do the des now. Now, as they were going, and, and here's our subject, Jesus began, that's from the verb archomai. You can see there we have a sigma, alpha, a lengthened initial vowel, that's an aorist middle indicative third person singular. Jesus began, and oh, that's a verb just asking, just wanting, just wishing to be completed with a complementary infinitive. Indeed, there's our complementary infinitive, completing the idea. Jesus began to speak, right? Jesus began to speak to the crowds about John. Here's what he said. What did you go out? That's from ex Ericomai, just a second heiress. What did you go out in the wilderness to see? Right? Purpose infinitive, from theaomai, the verb theaomai, to see, to behold, to look at, theaomai. And what we have here is an aorist middle infinitive. What did you go out into the wilderness to see? And then there's a bit of an ellipsis here. Did you go out to see a reed, like a, a piece of tall grass, a reed shaken? There's an attributive participle describing the reed. Just a, It's from the verb saluo, to shake. I don't know if you know that word, verb or not, suo. And this is, you can see that min morpheme. This is just a present uh, passive participle. It's accusative masculine singular to match the accusative masculine singular noun it's modifying. Again, there's the implied. Did you go out to see a reed shaken by the wind? 